Hi friends! Today we will be learning what are polyhedron. Before we learn what these are, we need to revise the basics of 2D and 3D shapes. So let's start. First of all, what is the difference between plane shapes and solid shapes? Plane shapes have two measurements, length and breadth, as in triangle, circle, and square. They all have a length and a breadth. They are called 2D shapes. Next, what are solid shapes? Solid shapes have three measurements. They have a length, breadth, and height. Yes, they have a height too. That is, they have three dimensions, and that's why they are called 3D shapes. Examples are the cone, cylinder, prism, pyramid, and sphere. So, this tumbler, this chair, this tiffin, this ball, all of these are solid shapes. Now, here we have a paper. Is this 2D or 3D? The paper is not a 2D object because it has a certain height, a very small height, but it does have a height. So the paper itself is a 3D object. So only 2D things, the drawings on a piece of paper are 2D. They only have a length and a breadth. But all flat things could also have a height. For example, this paper, this is a 3D object. Now let's move on to some properties of 3D objects. 3D objects have different views. That is, they look different from different angles. For example, the top view of a house is different from the side view and from the front view. So this hut has three different views, a side view, top view, and front view. Similarly, we have this tumbler. It has a different top view, different side view, and different front view. Similarly, this, the same can be said for this toy. It has various different views, a front view, top view, and side view. Here we have an object made up of three cubes. It has a different top view, side view, and front view. This object is made up of four cubes. Let's have a look at its different views. This is its top view. This is its side view, and this is the front view. This other object is made up of four cubes as well. This time the top view, side view, and front view are separate. Now this is made up of five cubes. This is its side view, top view, and front view. So 3D objects all have different views. Now let's learn what are edges, vertices, and the faces of a 3D object. The edge is a straight line at which two faces meet. A corner is the pointed end where one or two faces meet. And what are faces? All solid shapes or 3D shapes are made up of polygonal regions, which are called faces. Now, we have to learn what are polyhedrons. Polyhedrons are 3D shapes, which have flat polygonal faces. And what is a polygon? A polygon is a 2D figure, which has three or more straight sides. So a polygon cannot have a curved edge. Those are the characteristics of a polygon. And polyhedrons only have polygonal faces and straight edges, pointed corners, or vertices. So let's look at some polyhedrons. These are the picture of polyhedrons. You can see that they have flat polygonal faces. They have pointed edges and vertices. Now, this is a sphere. Is it a polyhedron? No, it is not, because it does not have flat polygonal faces. 
nor does it have a straight edge or vertices, so a sphere is not a polyhedron. Here is a cylinder. Is it a polyhedron? This is also not a polyhedron. It does not have flat polygonal faces because one face is curved and a polyhedron does not have any curved surfaces. They have flat polygonal faces. Here we have a cone. Is it a polyhedron? It has a vertex, but it also has a curved face. This is why it is not a polyhedron. One of its face is curved. And a polyhedron does not have a curved surface. Polyhedrons have flat polygonal faces, and one of its faces is a circle. Circles are not characteristics of polyhedrons. So, spheres, cylinders, and cones are not polyhedrons. These are polyhedrons. A cube, cuboid, pyramid, triangular prism, and rectangular prism. These are all different kinds of polyhedrons. Now let's learn what are convex polyhedrons and what are concave polyhedrons. Before we learn what are convex polyhedrons and what are concave polyhedrons, we'll be learning what are convex polygons and concave polygons. Convex polygons are polygons in which all the interior angles are less than 180 degrees. Concave polygons are polygons in which all the interior angles are more than 180 degrees. For example, a pentagon is a convex polygon because all the angles are 108 degrees. Another example is a hexagon, where angles are 120 degrees. And finally, a triangle, where angles are 60 degrees. And a square, where the angles measure 90 degrees. So all polygons in which the interior angles are less than 180 degrees are considered convex polygons. On the other end, this polygon is a star-shaped polygon where its interior angles is 200 degrees. And this other one is 190 degrees. Here we have a polygon in the shape of a plus sign. The interior angle is 270 degrees. So such polygons in which one or more interior angles have a measurement of greater than 180 degrees are considered concave polygons. Now let's consider convex and concave polyhedron. The idea is the same. A convex polyhedron is a polyhedron where all the interior angles measure less than 180 degrees. And a concave polyhedron is where one or more angles measure more than 180. Here are some examples of convex polyhedrons. And here are some examples of concave polyhedrons. Now, let's learn what are regular polyhedrons and what are irregular polyhedrons. Before that, we will revise regular and irregular polygons. Regular polygons are those polygons whose all sides are of equal length and all its angles are of equal measure. Therefore, a regular pentagon is a pentagon in which all interior angles have the same measurement. Here we have two pentagons. In this pentagon, all interior angles are 108. It is a regular pentagon. In the other, this has an angle that measures 290 degrees, while the rest are 120 or 90. So this is an irregular pentagon. Here is an equilateral triangle. All the angles measure 60 degrees, so it is a regular polygon. Whereas here is a scalene triangle. All the angles have different measurements, so it is an irregular polygon. Here is a square. All angles measure 90 degrees. It is a regular polygon. So regular polygons are polygons in which all its sides are equal and all the lengths are of equal measurement. 
On the other hand, irregular polygons have angles that are not of the same degree and sides that do not measure the same. Now, here we learn what are regular polyhedrons and irregular polyhedrons. A regular polyhedron is a highly symmetrical figure where all faces are identical regular polygons, all sides have equal length, and all angles are also equal. Polyhedrons that do not comply with these specific characteristics are considered irregular. Here you can see two images. One is a regular polyhedron and the other are irregular polyhedrons. So let's revise what we have learned till now. First of all, we started with what are 2D shapes. Shapes that have two dimensions are called 2D shapes. Here are some examples. They can only be drawn on a flat surface. We also learned that a piece of paper is not 2D, even though it is extremely flat, because it does have a certain height. So it is considered a 3D object, which has three dimensions. Length, breadth, and height. All objects that occupy space, such as this paper, pen, pencil, box, and tumbler, are considered 3D objects. And objects that are drawn on certain things that only have two dimensions, as in a length and a breadth, and no height are called 2D objects. So everything that you draw are 2D objects and everything that you can touch and everything that you can hold in your hand that occupies some sort of space that has three dimensions, length, breadth, and height are called 3D objects. 2D objects only have one view, but 3D objects have different views. A front view, top view, side view, and they can all be different or some can be the same. For example, this hut has a different front, side, and top view. And in the case of this tube, you can have a similar front view, side view, and top view. But the front view is the same as the side view. Then, we have to examine some objects made up of cubes. They all have three different views. So you always need to examine an object properly to determine what its side, top, and front view are. Because sometimes you will have to find out what is the surface area or volume of an object whose side views, front views, and all views are not visible. So you need to be able to imagine what its different views by yourself to calculate the surface area or volume accordingly. We will be doing such problems in our next section. Next, we will revise what are faces, edges, and vertices. Flat surfaces of which the 3D objects are made up of are called faces. The pointed line at which these faces meet are called edges. And the pointed corners at which edges meet are called the vertices of a 3D object. Let's use this pyramid as an example. It has a pointed corner at which four faces meet. This is one vertex, and the other vertices are here. So in total it has five vertices and the flat polygonal regions are these triangles and the base, a square. So it has five faces and five vertices. How many edges are there? Edges are the line segments at which faces meet. You can see that we have four edges here and four edges at the bottom. So in total, it has eight edges. So 3D objects have faces, edges, and vertices.
For example, a sphere is also a 3D object, but it does not have edges or vertices. It only has one spherical surface, which is its one face. There are zero vertices and zero edges. Now, here we have a cylinder. This is also a 3D object. It has one curved surface and two flat, round faces. So it has two round, curved edges. One at the top and one at the bottom, but no vertex. So 3D objects occupy space and have three dimensions, length, breadth, and height. They may all have vertices, edges, and faces, or they may only have faces, edges, and no vertex. For example, a sphere is a 3D object that has zero vertices and edges, only one face. A cylinder is a 3D object that has faces and vertices with no edges. Here we have a cone. A cone is a 3D object that has a curved surface and one flat spherical surface. It has one pointed edge, but it also has one pointed vertex. Now, what are polyhedrons? Polyhedrons are essentially a 3D shape that possesses vertices, edges, and faces. All faces are polygons, and all edges are straight lines only. Now, you can classify 3D figures as polyhedrons and not polyhedrons. Let's first talk about this cuboid. It has faces, vertices, and straight edges. All faces are polygonal faces. That is, that they are a square or a rectangle, so it is a polyhedron. Let's talk about the sphere. It has no edge and no vertex. It only has one spherical curved surface or face, so it is not a polyhedron. This is a prism, a triangular prism. It has edges, vertices, and faces. All the faces are polygons. That is, it is a closed figure that has three or more straight edges. So, it is a polyhedron. Now, let's take this cone. Is this a polyhedron? It has a curved edge and a vertex. But it has a curved face and a circular base. So, it is not a polyhedron. What about this cylinder? This cylinder has two edges and three faces, and one face is a curved face. Characteristics of polygon states that it has no curved faces. So, this cylinder is not a polyhedron. Now, what about this figure? It has vertices, edges, faces. So, it is a polyhedron. Now let's revise what are regular polyhedrons and irregular polyhedrons. Before doing so, let's recap regular polygons and irregular polygons. Regular polygons are those polygons in which all internal angles are of the same measure, and all edges have the same length. On the other hand, irregular polygons do not have same angular measurements or side measurements. The same concept applies to regular polyhedrons and irregular polyhedrons. Regular polyhedrons are polyhedrons where all interior angles are the same measurement and all sides are of the same length. Irregular polyhedrons do not have same measurements for their angles and sides. Regular polyhedrons are also symmetrical whereas irregular polyhedrons are not. So, we have revised what we have learned today. I hope that you are fairly familiar with the terms polyhedrons, convex polyhedron, regular polyhedron, and irregular polyhedron, so on and so forth.